local family got a happy ending late this afternoon after they've been looking for their missing dog for the last five days in the East Grand Forks area. But it's not just any dog. Trooper is a service animal for his owner who served and was severely wounded when she was overseas in the Army. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley talked with Trooper's owner today and has more on a story you'll only see here. Every day we're like, today we're definitely going to find him. We've been saying that for five days now. Scared and all alone. I don't even know like what he would be thinking to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He's just not a regular dog. So I don't even know if he really knows regular dog stuff. Not only are those troopers feelings, but his mom's as well. So now he's gone and I'm having all this anxiety because he's gone and it's kind of uh, like a double edged sword, if you will. Sheelan was serving in Afghanistan in 2013 when a blast severely injured her and broke several of her bones. And Trooper has been by her side to help in her day to day life for the last two years. So he helps me like walk up and down stairs or if I like am down on the ground and I can't get up, he kind of braces me, um, anything like that. And then he also is like trained for like PTSD, like anxiety. But Sunday afternoon, while at her sister's house, Shaylin says Trooper got spooked and ran off. And despite 15 hour days scouring every inch of both Grand Forks and East Grand Forks, Trooper was still on the loose. You put in all these hours and walking and sweating and looking and hunting and calling and nothing. Shaylin says the worst part of it all is this was Trooper's first trip to the area as she and her pup live in California. Most dogs like go to some place they're aware of or and Trooper like he doesn't have a point of reference to go back to. And the casserlies were in crunch mode today as they worried the 4th of July celebrations might scare Trooper off even farther. Even last night I heard like fireworks. I was like my poor baby. He's probably so scared right now. But Trooper and Shaylin's nights alone are no longer. After kayakers came across Trooper tangled up in some brush near the river in Grand Forks late this afternoon. And after a boat ride to shore. Trooper and his mom are finally reunited. In East Grand Forks, Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live. There was a reward for Trooper's safe return, but the kayakers who found him did not accept it, saying, after all, on Independence Day, what greater reward is there than giving a little back to someone who gave so much?